guys welcome to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you a little diy on how i do my tags on my bonnets scrunchies and wigs i hope you enjoyed the video so we're gonna be needing a pillowcase or any form of cloth where we're gonna be ironing on top we're gonna need a scissors um ribbon i use the white ribbon you can use any color of your choice most uh pair of scissors <laughs> i don't know if i said that already and most importantly we're going to need some fabric um white fabric transfer sheets i'm using the white one because i'm printing on a white piece of ribbon you can use cotton um but the one i got here is a polyester so if you're using a white fabric make sure you use the white transfer um sheet and if you're using the black a black fabric you have to use a dark fabric transfer yeah i got this from walmart and it comes like in the set it has like a black and a white we're gonna use a computer and <laughs> laptop and there we go so from the video i'm gonna be editing my project using canva you can use any editing software of your choice but canva is cheap it's affordable if it's free <laughs> And it's easy to use so i'm going to use a custom design so i'm going to have a width of two and a height of 3.5 inches the reason i'm doing that i'm kind of like guessing how my tag is going to be like so i'm going to start off by putting up my design on there and then walking my way after that as you're going to see in the video so right now i'm gonna after opening up Canva, I'm going to go into text. I'm going to open the text. I'm going to take the both font, I guess. And I'm going to type in um, the title that I want to be on my tags. Right there, you have the Lala corner. So, basically, I'm just going to type that in. And I'm going to go and change the font to the one I like. And I'm going to adjust it to the size I want my text to be on. As you're going to see in the video, I'm going to be including a picture too. Like it has like a hand holding like a needle. So to do that, I'll go on element. And I'm going to search like you have different images on there. So I searched that and it came up. If you can locate it by scrolling on it, you just have to type on the search bar on the top. And it's going to come up different pictures so i pick up my picture i'm going to resize it to the size i want and then i'm going to put it in the position i like as you see in the video So after getting my design to the size I want, I'm going to go ahead and save it. So you're going to go on share and then I'm going to save it as a PNG format. So click download, choose PNG and then hit download. It's going to download to um, the folders in your computer. You just have to sh search for it um, and we're going to use it ahead. So after you're done downloading the image, you're going to click on Home on Canva. You're going to go up on the right corner where it says Create a Design. Click on there and select A4 document. So basically, you're going to be using this A4 document to position your tag depending on how big or small you want your tags to look like. So what I'm going to do right now is hit on Upload where I'm going to upload the image I created earlier and once i hit upload i'm going to get the copy of the document from my computer since i downloaded that earlier and it's going to show up in my canva account i'm going to click on the image and it's going to appear on the a4 paper so from now on what i'm going to do is just resizing it to fit the paper how i want um, the tag to look like on my ribbon so it's very important to measure how wide your ribbon is like to have an image of how big you want the images or the letters or words you want to be on your tag so right now i'm just modifying them and duplicating them as you see i just hit the plus sign it's going to duplicate the image 
in order not to copy and paste which is going to take forever what i do is just copy the first um, line of images i created and i'm going to duplicate that so once i duplicate i just hit the plus sign and it will automatically duplicate it over and over again so before doing that i always make sure it's on the same line moving my mouse and making sure the image or the top matches the image at the bottom so as you see me i'm moving my mouse and making sure everything is correct and then from there i just hit the plus sign to duplicate my image after verifying and making sure everything is good what i'm going to be doing um for this document at this point is using some lines these lines are going to guide me at the end when i print my document and it's going to help me too to be able to cut out the tags without any issues and make sure everything is the same height and length so i'm going to go on to element click on lines pick whatever line you desire and that will be easy for you to work with i like to pick the dotted lines and i'm going to modify it I'll go to line weight and make sure i put it on one for me it's smaller and it's easy for me to work with that way so i kind of match it and bring it close to the image and kind of um, move it horizontally making sure the image on top does not overlap the image at the bottom so that's just my little tip so after that is set what i'm going to do is just duplicate it by hitting the plus sign and then it will automatically fall on the other images so i'm going to do a horizontal line and a vertical line. Just a little tip to make sure your lines are straight. As you see, there's a little box is black and it has some numbers in there. I always make sure the number I see on there is 90 or negative 90. It makes me know that my line is straight. So basically, I just move it rotate the line to the straight and then i have to pull it down right to the last image like right to the bottom of the page that's how i draw my vertical lines after which i just duplicate the image and duplicate duplicate the lines sorry so that's how i get my vertical lines and my horizontal lines so after i'm done drawing the lines i kind of move my cursor a little bit all over to make sure they align and there's no image overlapping another so to save this in my computer i'm going to go to share click on download and instead of picking png as we did the first time we're going to be choosing pdf print because we're going to be printing this image on a transfer sheet so do a pdf print and you're going to print that and it's going to automatically download it to your computer so right now the image is open as a pdf form but i will want to open it as a word form because It'll be easier for me to edit the form and do some uh, modifications i couldn't do on canva so on canva i couldn't i wasn't able to flip the image but it's easier with board so what i do is go on my um documents i kind of instead of a pdf i'll open it to be a word document that will be easier for me to edit it so right now i'm kind of switching from pdf form to a word document so once i open i'll get a message error i just hit ok and then i move on once the form is open i'm going to enable editing that way i'll be able to do any modifications another error pops up i just hit ok and move on once that opens up i'm going to hit on insert click on insert and then click on the image so once you click on the image go on the top um, bar and search for rotate object once that opens up on your right you're going to see different options make sure you pick the one that says flip horizontally for this is the right way if you want to print on the transfer sheet at least for me that's the one that works for me it's going to mirror into my ribbon easily so i pick flip horizontally and voila you have the image right now so what i do is just go on print and my print um, settings is just going to come up i don't really do any changes to the settings i'm using the canon printer an inject printer always make sure you use an inject printer so what i'm doing right now is using my transfer sheet if your printer at the bottom part of your printer make sure the pink part is facing up and the white part down but if it's the top part of your printer make sure the white side is facing up and the pink side down 
but since i'll be painting on the bottom side i'm gonna have the pink side facing up the sheets come with an instruction sheet as well so you'll be able to follow the instructions that are listed on there depending on whatever sheet you get from your store so this is what i get i just put it on there then go on my computer and hit print so this is my transfer sheet to my printed logo on it right now i already cut part of it earlier so that's why you see it um looking half so this is how it looks like when it's printed out what i'm gonna do right now is take my ribbon and basically i'm gonna be measuring before i cut my ribbon so i'm gonna show you like the right placement for your ribbon whenever you have to iron it iron the transfer sheet on it so when i place it horizontally you see the line is big so it'll be difficult to work with that way so what i do is to turn my ribbon um, vertically and when i do that you see that it fits my ribbon so it'll be easier for me to transfer that logo on there so after doing that what i do is just cut my ribbon to the size that will fit my sheets or overlap a little bit and then put the ribbon on the side and then go ahead and cut my logos and while measuring make sure you're cutting your logo vertically depending on how you measured it and you fit your ribbon or fabric you're using so mine will be easier if i cut vertically so that's why i'm doing it that way yours might be different depending on the size you use so that's what i'm doing right now as you can see while cutting i'm cutting the black edges this is because any color that is on the transfer sheet right now is going to transfer to your fabric as you can see my um pillowcase that i'm using it kind of has some black lines so those were the lines that were on my transfer sheet when i was um, doing um some projects earlier so it kind of transferred to that white so what i do is just cut it off so if you do draw your logo and you have some mistakes or some things you want to get rid of make sure you cut them out if not when you'll be ironing them it's going to transfer on there so right now what i'm doing is placing my ribbon on top of my pillowcase with the shiny side facing up and i use the transfer sheet and i mirror that to the fabric so right now what i'm doing i'm making sure the pink side is facing up while the side that has the writings on it is facing down like it's facing the the ribbon i'm using so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and place it up make sure everything is straight and then i'm gonna use my hot iron and just iron on top of it i just use a straight technique while ironing it makes it easier for me and they kind of advise that too in the instruction sheet to like iron in a straight motion something like that so that's just what i'm using and then just making sure i just press on it and one thing with this transfer sheet is you need to peel it off while it is still hot i've watched other videos and some people have used different um, transfer sheets where they have to let it cool down before they peel it off but with this one you have to peel it off while it is still hot so right now i'm just going just pressing ahead making sure i apply some heat to it after which i'm just gonna peel it off as it is and surprisingly it just cools down within seconds so it's easy to work with as you can see right now i'm just peeling the fabric out of um separating the fabric from the transfer sheet and there we go voila that is our logo printed on our ribbon so right now i'm just gonna go ahead and make sure everything is okay and then you just follow the lines remember the vertical lines that were put on there there it is it transferred onto the paper so it's going to guide me to be able to easily cut out the logo so this logo is mostly for my scrunchies my bonnet so i just made it smaller the one i made for my waist a little bit bigger and then the face in a different direction so depending on what you're working with you can make any style you want you can design it how you want how big how small you want it so this is just my go-to and this is what works for me hopefully it helps you um, design yours too so i will just go ahead and just cut and cut and move on <music> So 
this is the end product of our tag i hope you really love the video please like subscribe share and comment what you think i hope you learned something today see you in the next video stay blessed bye bye <music>